Okay, today we're going to do the first part of the date pinwheel cookies. So the first thing you need is a half a cup of butter. And you're going to cream that. Then you're gonna add a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. just a little bit further away from my blender because it's just mixer is so loud. And then a half a cup of white sugar. Okay, then you're gonna get two cups of sifted all-purpose flour. And in this cup, I'm going to put a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. And a pinch of salt. So we have a pinch of salt.
Then you're gonna add this to your butter and sugar mixture. it out wrap it in some wax paper or a plastic bag And then you're going to put this in the refrigerator, chill it till it's ready to roll out. You want it firm enough. Roll it up. Put it in the refrigerator, and I'll be back to make the filling in a few minutes. Okay, for the filling, you need about seven and a quarter to seven and a half um, chopped up pieces of date. I found a um, a ten ounce. These are pitted. Um, I'll just leave a few in. I use scissors because that's what my aunt used to do. And uh, just cut them up into a saucepan. And when I get these finished, I'll be back. Okay, I got them all chopped up. Then what you're gonna do is get, uh, let's see, we need um, a quarter cup of the remaining sugar out of the three quarters that the recipe calls for. Drop it in. Then you're gonna get a dash of salt. Here's my dash. And a third cup of water. Okay. Then you're going to bring it over to the stove. And you're going to heat this up, get it to, um, so it starts to simmer. I'm going to start at, at 7 first just to get it hot. Stir this up. 
let it start heating up. Pecans. And get a cup out and chop them, finely chop. You're going to stir this quite often. Okay, it's almost starting to boil. Once it starts to boil, I'm going to turn it down and we'll simmer it for five minutes stirring. Okay, it's boiling now. I'm going to turn it down to two. Set my timer for five minutes. Keep stirring it, and I'll be back. Okay, we got two minutes to go. I just wanted to kind of show you. Um, you just kind of keep moving it around. I kind of chop it around and... Don't let it stick to the bottom. Don't burn it. I think I'm down to like a lower two on my oh, on my stove. Just keep moving it around, and I'll be back in a minute and a half. Okay, we got six seconds left. Bring it over to your counter. And you're going to put a cup of finely chopped pecans in there. Mix it up. This is the filling for the pinwheel. And then, this is going to cool, need this to cool. Um, I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna check our dough if it's chilled enough. And uh, we'll start making the cookies. Okay, so you need it like that. Nice and mixed up. And I'll be back in a few. 
Okay, the dough's ready. So we're gonna pull that out um, and you're gonna half it. <laughs> oh boy, Okay. I put the rest of it in the refrigerator just because I'm down in Florida and it's hot. <laughs> okay, then get a piece of wax paper. first and it helps keep the wax paper on. Okay, then you're gonna flower your wax paper. Then you're going to roll out a 9 by 12 rectangle. Enough barge. Bargey, enough. Fargy. Enough. Okay, my rolling pin. This is 10 inches, so. And then we'll add about 12. Fargy. Okay. Sorry, he's very talkative, noisy today. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take half of your date and pecan mixture. And you're going to spread it on the dough. It's kind of hard to do, but. Just take your time, kind of push down and slide it. And uh, 
Just keep working it. Get to the edges. Okay, oops, I pulled up some dough. Blooper. up a little corner here. Okay. I think just a little bit more over here. Try to get our corners. Okay. Then what you're going to do is start rolling it. I take my wax paper and I try to make the first couple rolls. You want it kind of a tight roll. Then just press your corners together. I kind of try to stretch it out a little, just to make it a little bit longer. And then shape it into a nice roll, like so. Okay, get another piece of wax paper. I'm going to plop this onto a clean And you're going to wrap this up. Roll it up. And this goes in the refrigerator overnight. That's why it's a two-parter. your other mask and repeat the process. Be sure you wet the wax paper down. And it's a 9 by 12 rectangle. your date filling again and roll it up get a new piece of wax paper and uh, roll it up put it in the refrigerator for um for overnight and uh then i'll be back tomorrow ready to bake these up 
Um, Y'all have a good day. Bye. Okay, I just wanted to show you I have my two rolls of um, pinwheel cookies all done. They're wrapped in the wax paper. I put them in a plastic bag and uh, tied the end and just let them sit in the refrigerator overnight and I'll be back tomorrow and we will finish these up.